I know you have six kids. Um, seven, so actually. Like, I just you, had a baby. Seven? Oh, my uh, goodness. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. Until Robert De Niro revealing he's a dad again. And yes, this is the seventh child for the 79-year-old actor. Anybody can relate to it. De Niro shared the happy news with ET Canada, a rep for the star confirming the little one's arrival on Tuesday. I know you have six kids. Um, Seven, so actually. Like, I just you... had a baby. The major life update comes as De Niro promotes his latest comedy, About My Father. Why don't we just bring him? Nah, I don't think so. Where he plays, you guessed it. Hey, my little hands here. It's called love and affection, man. Unlike you, when you met me at the delivery room, you chose to shake my hand. What else was I supposed to do? We just met. I don't think that I'm a cool father. I'm okay. You know, my kids uh, disagree with me at times, and they're respectful. My daughter is 11. She's gives me a grief sometimes, and I adore her. Of course, the legendary actor has played a dad on screen many times. I have nipples, Greg. Could you milk me? He famously played Ben Stiller's uh, quirky father-in-law in the Meet the Parents trilogy. But you just blew it! What? He also starred as Leonardo DiCaprio's stern dad in This Boy's Life. I had a talk with Jack on the way up here, and he... He wants to be a better boy. What was it like working with Robert De Niro? He was just like a regular normal guy to me. He knew that I really respected him as an actor and stuff, so it would have been like hell for me to have Robert De Niro, you know, giving me a face every time. And two of his adult children, 51-year-old Drina and 27-year-old Julian, have followed Dad's footsteps into acting. As long as you work diligently, hard, you try your best, It'll work in your favor tenfold. De Niro opened up to E.T. in 2002 about the advice he shared with his kids as they enter show business. The downside is if you don't or give them any excuse to say that you're doing it just, you know, you're not doing as well as you should or you're slacking off or you're doing it like this because you're the, the, the child of so-and-so, It'll go tenfold in the negative, so you really always have to do the right thing to keep going. As for what's next for De Niro, well, 30 years later, he's reuniting with Leo in Martin Scorsese's next movie, Killers of the Flower Moon. Jesse Plemons, who's also in the flick, told E.T. working with De Niro means you gotta come prepared. You, Mr. Robert De Niro, what's it like working with a legend like well, that? Definitely makes you feel like you, you, you gotta... You gotta bring it, you know. I have worked with them a few times, you know. We had one scene in Killers of the Flower Moon that was just like, I could have retired after after that. And Leo and I have, we worked together when he was a teenager, a little kid, but now he's grown up. We always wanted to do something together, so this is it. It's a great movie, as far as I'm concerned. Plus two other movies later this year, and he's already shot another film hitting theaters in 2024. Clearly a busy actor and a busy dad. Seven, actually.